a victory in the Barangay Village elections is no guarantee that suspected drug traders will be exempted from the anti-drug campaign of the Philippine National Police PNP, Director General Oscar Albayaldi said on Tuesday. Just because they won, it doesn't mean that they will be excused, especially if they are really involved in drug-related activities. Albayaldi said in Filipino during a press conference, the PNP is referring to incoming village officials who are part of the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency's PDEA list. Albayaldi said that after the suspects have been proclaimed in their new posts, the PNP would conduct case or intelligence buildup to gather evidence before they are subjected to the PNP campaign, known as Tokong, we can apply search warrant against them and the important thing is the validation, they can surrender but if they don't want to, we can conduct case buildup against them, he said. If Tokong isn't enough, the suspects may be made part of active police operations, Albayaldi said. The PNP, along with the Intelligence Service of the Armed Forces of the Philippines ISAFP, and National Intelligence Coordinating Agency NICA, helped PDEA in validating its drug list that was released on May 4. The PDEA can't do it alone since they have few people. They also relied on a sun intel gathering and information, Albayaldi said. The drugs list contains 207 former and incumbent village officials nationwide who are said to have links to drug-related activities in their areas of jurisdiction. As of May 4, 4,251 individuals have been killed in anti-drug police operations since President Rodrigo Duterte assumed office on July 1, 2016. Roy and ARRA